two, one, go. For this semi-final two tiebreaker, we are off to a roaring start. Robo Jackets with a hatch panel on the far side of the rocket for blue. Meanwhile, 2481 has done just the same for red. Strike Force has a hatch panel on the front of the cargo ship. It's now time for Teleop. This is the last semifinals match. We're gonna find out who's going to be facing off against Alliance number one. Blue wants it, and so do the Robo Jackets, who are going back and forth, grabbing cargo from their depot, picking it up and placing it in the rocket and in their cargo ship. However, Strike Force, coming across from the red side of the field, is not gonna let them score that cargo they have in their mechanism very easily. They are stopping them from getting away and scoring it in the rocket, but Robo Jackets were able to swing around and score it despite the defense. Meanwhile, 930 has a, the second level of their rocket done. Now they're working on the first. They need one more hatch panel, then they can fill it with cargo. We have a minute and 20 seconds remaining in this match. 2481 has a cargo. They're gonna head over to finish one side of the cargo ship for red. Meanwhile, 225 Techfire was being bothered by 6443 as they're trying and successful in placing a cargo into the cargo ship for red. 6443 aimbot is the de facto defense bot for the blue alliance. 55 seconds remaining in the match, and these two teams are only separated by five points. This match could go to either alliance. Strike Force still playing defense on Robo Jackets while Tech Fire is lifting up and trying to place a hatch panel on the rocket. But unfortunately, in that process, they unlatched another hatch panel and let loose a cargo that they had previously placed. 25 seconds left in the match. Strike Force putting pressure on Robo Jackets while 6443 Aimbot is working on flipping up onto Hab level three for blue. They've got it. 15 seconds remaining. Strike Force is lining up with their suction cup. 10 seconds left. We're gonna try see a double level three climb from the Red Alliance with three, two, one. With the scent of magic smoke in the air, we do have a score for you who's gonna determine who's moving on to the finals. Let's see if that double level three climb was enough. Let's see the score up on the screen. It was, it's the Red Alliance moving on to the finals with a score of 107 to 92. And that means that the number